you to do, and have fun and work really hard. So you're only going to give your best. You got one yeah, shot so to give your absolute exactly. best. Don't cheat Before yourself. You really cool we make stuff. good habits of always doing her best. Correct? Yes, sir. I want to hear, yes, sir. We make good habits of always doing her best, right? Yes, sir. All right. Good. I like that. I like that. So let's do a short warm up. We're going to kind of warm up with some technique. Because I can see you guys that are out there and you're pretty good at your basics. We go feet together, set, add attention, focus, and self control. Together, team, and bow. When you bow, you take the time to show appreciation, respect. Thank you, right? Let's go to defensive stance, guys. Defensive stance, hands up, now stop, back away. Elbows in, chin down, bend the knees, so we have good balance. How's the balance looking? We hide the targets, and let's throw some basic punches. So we got two palm heels, open hand, left hand is one, right hand is two. Try it again. I want to see more of your hips, all right, and knees bent so you're into the earth. Ready? One, two, excellent. One more time, ready? Go. One, two. All right, pretty simple. Now let's close the fist, make good tight fist. It's very important that you have all these elements. You want to have speed and focus and power and even other things. But right now we're going to really work on having a good tight fist. Pretend you're targeting in front of you. You guys, we have to know how to visualize. We have to know how to pretend what is going on. Martial art is the art part of expressing it and imagining it. So do we see the target in front of us? Imagine your target as you're in the stance. Super tight fist. The number one left jab, one. The number two, two. Let's try it again. One, two. Very good, ready. One, two, jab, cross. So I'm gonna give you one more little technique and we're gonna put these together in a combination. Everyone remembers their elbows because when you're close, you're gonna throw an elbow. You can't throw an elbow far unless you jump. So you're gonna be closer, turn it sideways with the pinky fingers there. Use this blade and just smash with that elbow strike. Hands up, everyone. Ready? Let's go together. Elbow strike. One, two. Keep one hand up. We talked about having the self-discipline to do the things you're supposed to do. Even if you're not told, you have self-discipline because you do what you're supposed you to. When one elbow is out, well, you're supposed to have this hand up. When the other one is out, you have this hand up. So use that self-discipline that I know you guys can use. Ready? Two elbows. One. Two. Again. Go. One. Two. Feet together, set. Everyone out of tension. Look straight ahead and be still. How are they doing, Bobby? Everybody looking good out there? Yes, sir. So if we did three moves, we did open hand palm heels, close hand jab cross, and short elbows. That's two and two and two. That's six moves. Correct? So we're going to do the combination of the six, and I'm going to make you face different ways. You know, martial arts is about listening, following directions, no different when you guys are at home, when you're in school, continue to live your life, follow the directions, have good focus, all right? So ready, defensive stance, two palm heels, one, two, two jack cross, one, two, two elbows, one, two, now remember to keep one hand up, start over. Now you got four different walls basically, unless you're in a circle, you got four walls you could face. So let's turn, face another wall. Turn and two palm heels. One, two. Two jab cross. One, two. Two elbows. One, two. And everybody turn. Two palm heels. One, two. Two jab cross. One, two. Two elbows. One, two. And turn. Go. All those are two. Bobby's going to pick someone who's looking really good, and everybody's going to watch them do these six punches. So I want you guys to practice a few times on your own. Come on, let's go. Two palm heels, two jab cross, two elbows. Keep one hand up, make it fast, make it strong. Put some energy in there. Who's looking good, Bobby? Let me see him do it. Carter, I think Carter's got Carter it. That's good. Good. Let me see Carter. 
All right, let's see it, Carter. The whole world is watching you. Let me see those six punches strong. Go. And now follow along, just like me. Beautiful. Good technique. Good focus, man. Never dropped his hand. Very strong. You guys, let's give him a hand. Give him a hand. Excellent job. All right, team. Let's go. Feet together, set. Attention. So next today for the seven and unders, we're going to learn something that we haven't done in a long time. And it is called our star block, which is a system of blocking. It's like a star. You got to see a star. How many points would be on a star? Five. Five points, right? I actually have one that I want to show you guys. So you can understand what we're doing here. All right? So this is your star. And we're going to do two things. As we do the star block, we're going to torture you in a good horse stance, in a good squatting stance. So you can strengthen your legs and you can strengthen your mind. And we're going to work on these together. So I know when I was a student, we spent a whole lot of time sitting in a horse stance, like a sit, a squat. So ready, squatting stance. I need your feet to be straight. Fix it like this. Hips forward, knees bent. Keep your back straight and get lower. Bend the knees. So when you have these strong legs, you're going to be better with your kick in and your take off, but you're also going to have a stronger mind because this is really about one thing. If I ask you what the squatting stance or the horse stance stands for, you're saying perseverance. Perseverance. This means that you don't quit, you don't give up easy, even if it's hard, you hang in there. So we don't have any quitters, do we? No quitters, so hang in there. Feet straight, knees bent, make good tight fists, and put them in your karate chambers. All right, star block. First thing, we're going to take our right hand, cross your stomach, your chest, in front of your beautiful face, and stop in front of your hair, up here high. So there's space. Block here, tight fist. Start over. At the same time, team. Ready, set. Hold the horse stance. Good job. And one, high block. The same hand that did the high block opens up. Palm is out. Turn, turn, turn. Palm is in. Inward block. So you're defending, blocking here. Start over. One, high block. Two, inward block. Three, you're just going to go in the same line and turn with the palm out. Four, outward block. Think of like your cover. You come outside. Let's start over. One, two, three. Excellent. Start over. One, two, three. So number four is your downward block. You're actually going to bring your hand and touch the other shoulder. Opposite. So touch. Swing the arm from knee to knee. Think of your hammer fist. Very strong close fist. Down, 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 down. And block. Good job. Bring it back in the chamber. Start block set. Right hand only. Up. In. Out. Touch. Down. All the way across. Down. Back in the chamber. When you go in the chamber, imagine you're doing an elbow smash. And then push down with the palm in the middle. Those are the five moves. That is the star block. Let's try it again. You can take turns with your hands. Up. In. Out. Touch. Down. Back. Push down and give me a key out. Ready? Go. Key out. Good job. Let's try it again. A little faster and stronger. Ready? And up. In. Out. Touch. Down. Back. Push down. You can do both hands. Up. In. Out. Touch. Down. Push. You can do it with your legs. Okay, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't do it with your legs. <laughs> don't do it with your legs. Good job, guys. All right. Everybody stand up. Put your feet together. Feet together. Set. Let's work on some really good kickboxing. Good, strong kickboxing. Do the little things right because, you know, life, school, home, is all about the little details. You've got to make sure you're working hard to understand what you do. You have to understand it here, okay? So show me your good fighting stance. Fighting stance. Hands up high. Elbows in. Chin down. Bend the knees. And you're ready. How's those feet look? Bob, how's everyone looking out there? What I do. some good... Stands Good. So we're going to go up top, our one, two, three. This is our pick three, and then our back leg round kick. What is your one? Lead with speed, left jab. So elbows down, fist is up. Turn those two knuckles at the end. Make a tight fist, this hand is up. Start over, team. Ready? One. 
jab. Now I really want you to throw your hip. Just like you're throwing a ball, turn your hip for two. See how my chin is down? Let's start over. One, two, three. Oh, you know three is one of our favorite punches, the left hook. So turn, palm side is facing you, tight fist, and cut across. Think if you miss, you have an elbow. And turn. So start over. One, two, three. Good job. One more time. Ready and go. One, two, three. Jab, cross, hook. Good job out there. I like what I see. All right, so stop. We're going to finish the one, two, three with the back leg, the right leg, roundhouse kick with the shin. Lift the knee a little higher so you point the toes and cut down with the shin to the middle of the leg. Imagine you're hitting to the nerves in the middle. That is the combination today. Jab, cross, hook, round kick, turn. The last move is... Bobby, let me hear him tell me what the last move is, because this doesn't change. The last move is what, guys? Tell me. Kia. Kia, I like that. What else is it? To move. The last move is to move, so you don't get hit back. So after you do the jab, cross, hook, one, two, three, round kick, then move. Move out of the way. All right, you guys practice it. Ready? Go. One, two, three, round kick. Last move is move. Be ready to protect yourself. Hands and elbows in. Ready? Go. One, two, three, round kick and move. Come on, do it faster, do it stronger. Ready? Go. Push hard. Good job. All right, guys, feet together, set. Everyone take a knee. Give me two claps. Two claps and take a knee. So I have another kickboxing combo that we're going to work today. So the pattern of the first one was you throw a one, two, three, three punches, and you finish with the kick. So we're going to reverse the pattern. Think about here, because the mind is the weapon. The reverse pattern would be we kick first. And then we throw the one, two, three last, right? Kick, boxing. So if we use the number one leg in front, everybody stand up on your feet. Good job, guys. Thank you. I mean, I really appreciate when you guys are doing the things you're supposed to, right? So does your parents, your teachers, your coaches, doing all those little things right like I talked about earlier, okay? So it's like being a black belt, which is just a symbol for being the best. You want to be the best at everything. So try your best, okay? Feet together, set. Fighting stance move, looking good. So in this combination, you throw your number one front kick. It's the leg in front, foot straight, toes back. So your foot is straight, toes are back. Chamber by lifting that knee straight up. As soon as it comes up, extend it out, back in and set it down. Front kick is a very strong kick. It's the oldest kick there is, and it's really strong. So you're gonna take the leg in front, keep your hands up like a fighter, up, out, in, down. Use the hips, and let me see the intensity. When we talk about intensity in class, we talk about the sign of seriousness, right? Let me see the sign of seriousness, your expression, hands and elbows and face, it's intense. Kick, now throw your one, two, three, and then move. That's the combination, kiddos. Let's try it again. Front kick. One, two, three, and then move. Do it again. Ready? Go. See, Fusard is here. How are they doing out there? You know, there's some really good punches and kicks. Going yeah? On. Yeah, look at this intensity right here on Mr. Carter. Yeah. Look at this. Let me see, Carter. Let me see it again. Let me see your fighting stance, your front kick, jab, cross, oh, front kick. And then your. Oh, wow. Nice. Who did he front kick? LeBron James? That kid was high to the sky. Awesome. Hands are up, perfect. Yeah, very well trained guy. Give him a hand. Hey, see what you have a quick minute? Come on yes, out. Sir, of course. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's watch here. We did two kickboxing combinations. We start off with our pick three, which is your jab, your cross, your hook, and you finish with a low round kick. And, all right, so let's try that. See how Sifu is doing this. Eyes right here. One, two, three. 
last move is move. All right? So now think that you're doing it here. All right? So ready? I'm holding the mitts for you guys. Hands up. One. Two. Three. Round kick. All right? Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Round kick. Feet together. Set. Good job, Riker. Right. The second combination we did, we started with the kick, which is your long number one front kick. This is a way to keep someone away. I like to call it the get off me kick. Yeah, yeah. So this guy's coming forward and I'm like, get off me. So it's just a good jab with your leg, right? So the get off me kick. You throw your number one front kick, and then you're inside to finish with your one, two, three. Those punches can be pretty fast, man. They can be pretty fast. They have a flurry. So let's try that. Hands up, front kick. One, two, three. Again, go. Good. So you guys try. Get ready on the mitt. Now don't punch now or you're going to punch me. I don't want to be virtual online punched. Don't let that happen, all right? So wait till the mitts come up, guys. Ready, and kick. Jab, cross, hook. Again, ready. Kick. Jab, cross, hook. Last move is move. Stay inside of a stand. Excellent job. Feet together, set. See, well, I brought back some old school, and we showed them star block set today. What? Star block set. Ready, horse stance, move. So here's our star, right? So when you take your right hand, you go one, you go up, come inside, two, go across, three, come down, four, back, Push palm five. Yeah. Star block set. So turn this way, sir. Everything's being blocked. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. Everything is blocked. See if you remember that. Ready and go. Yeah. yeah. Feet together, set. And then we started off with just letting your hands go with your basic easy thing. You have to do these things a lot. So that you become like a computer and can respond very, very, very quick, like like 5G. Throw your palms, throw your straight punches, throw your elbows, and be ready to turn. Right? Feet together, set. Everybody take a knee and lock it up. Crisscross applesauce. Hands on your knees, back straight, eyes straight ahead. Hey guys, I want to say you did really good today. Some basic punches, some kickboxing, some blocking, and all of that stuff. What's important is that you continue training. You get good at things because you do them a lot, you know, right? And you have to practice and continue. Have fun with it because the first rule is to have fun. Make sure you get a lot out of it. Have your parents to help you. Parents, help the kids, and let's keep training. We're going to be back out here on the mat soon, but in the meantime, make the best of it and have fun. The word that I want to finish with was that hard word, called perseverance. Perseverance. And you probably felt that in this horse stance. I remember being here a lot of times in my life, and the legs are shaking, and I want to quit, I want to give up, but I don't because I withstand it. You persevere. Are there things in your life, at home, at school, in your martial arts class, where you might kind of want to give up when you shouldn't? Well, this means that you're not persevering, and I know you can persevere, like what a black belt concept in mind is. So perseverance is the key thing. Everybody stand up. Feet together set. For everyone's attention that I do have, if we have not delivered your belt or certificate, we're getting to it. But you guys are welcome to stop by at South 14th. We're actually here today until 8.30, uh, uh, teaching some of these virtual classes. And then also all of the homework lessons. We have the focus exam sheet of what we're teaching and we have um, the at-home reward program with the checklist and how everyone can earn points to redeem for some really cool prizes, as well as some good behavior of life skills and you know uh, positive things that can help the kids have their homework done at home. So we, we expect you guys to continue to train and work. Nothing has really changed for the most part, although some things have changed. But it hasn't changed, you are setting your goal. You're still going to earn your stripes, you're still going to earn your belt, We'll be back here doing it. But you got to work, all right? So you need to do at least two classes a week, no matter what. Don't forget, you can go to our YouTube channel, James Cox for Martial Arts. We've got a lot of great practices. 
I want you guys to learn some things and send me the video of you practicing. That's how you gain some extra points anyway. Anything else, Sifu? Good job, guys. Good? All right. Get a set. Bow. See y'all next time.